In today's tutorial I'll show you an easy way to create your own retro landscape scenes with the help of a huge 80s inspired toolbox named Neon Wave. Sci-fi landscape scenes featuring Tron style grids, mountain scenes and a vibrant sunrise is a popular aesthetic that is associated with art and design from the 80s. This retro futuristic style has remained in trend thanks to the retro wave or synth wave music movement which has helped to bring back the visual elements from 80s arcades, action movies, fashion and pop culture. The artwork I'll be creating in this tutorial has been made using just a handful of items from Neon Wave. You can download all the assets you need to follow along with the free sample pack linked in the description. It contains all the ready-made mounting graphics, grid layouts, glitch graphics and abstract textures I use to create this scene. I'll show you how to compose the elements, produce complementary elements from scratch and apply the all-important lighting effects directly in Photoshop. Neon Wave is a huge collection of over 700 assets that make it easy to construct retro-futuristic 80s style landscapes. It contains a variety of useful graphics including grid forms, polygonal landscape renders, mountain silhouettes, spectrograph distortions, abstract shapes and much more. With this kit you can simply drag and drop a selection of assets to compose a rad looking scene in minutes. Throw in some colourful layer style effects and you have the perfect artwork for an album cover, flyer or just a fun piece of visual art. Spoon Graphics subscribers can knock 10% off the price tag with the code Spoon Graphics. Check it out by following the link in the description. So to create your retro landscape scene with the sample pack, begin by opening Adobe Photoshop and create a new document. I'm using a document size of 3000 by 2240 pixels, but your dimensions may vary depending on the final use of your artwork. Open the starry background file and go to select an all followed by edit and copy. Close the file to return to the main document and go to edit and paste to generate an interesting backdrop. Open up the neon wave render graphic and copy and paste this graphic into the document too. You can incorporate shortcuts like command or the control key on windows and A for select all, C for copy and V for paste. Use the command and T shortcut for transform to scale it to size. In seconds we've already created what would have taken hours to model and render a 3D landscape scene thanks to the ready made assets in the neon wave kit. In order to make a selection of just the white grid lines so we can apply some lighting effects, turn off the visibility of the other layers. Then open up the channels panel. Hold the command key or control key on windows and click the thumbnail of any channel to load its selection. Back in the layers panel create a new layer and fill this selection with white with the command and backspace shortcut. Reduce the fill value for this layer to 0%. Double click the white grid lines layer to apply an outer glow layer style. Set the blend mode to normal then select a bright blue colour such as 5BA 8FF. Configure the spread to 1 pixel and size to around 7 pixels, just enough to generate a soft glow effect from all the fine lines. Bring back the visibility of the hidden layers to see the subtle blue glow on the grid lines. Apply some layer styles to the mountain layer next. Start with a gradient overlay between a purple and light blue hue. I'm using 472468 and 009 DAB. Set the mode to hard light to allow the colours to interact with the landscape graphic. Add an outer glow effect next. Configure the settings with maximum size but change the blend mode to hard light and reduce the opacity to tone down its impact so the glow isn't too intense. Select the starry background layer then add a gradient fill adjustment layer so it sits above it. Use the same purple to light blue colours but reversed so the blue glow emits from behind the mountains. For reference there was 009 DAB and 472468. Change the blending mode of the gradient fill layer to hard light to allow the starry background to show through and the colours to interact to create a vibrant glow effect. While the full neon wave kit does include some useful light source graphics Let's use some simple Photoshop tools to draw our own. Create a new layer above the gradient fill but below the mountains. Then draw a circle with the elliptical marquee tool, remembering to hold the shift key to keep it circular. If you have snap enabled from under the view menu, it's easy to position the circle centrally. 
fill it with a reddish pinky colour of D72A57. Apply some layer style effects to enhance the appearance of this sunrise. Start with a gradient overlay using the default black to white gradient, but with the blend mode set to overlay. Add an outer glow effect next, configure the settings to screen and max out the opacity. Set the colour as the same D72A57 used for the main sunrise fill, which can be eye dropped from the foreground colour swatch in the toolbar. Set up an inner glow effect using a bright yellow colour, such as FFD C18. Using the overlay blending mode will allow the yellow to interact with the reds and pinks to add a warm colour cast. Set the choke to zero and max out the size, then reduce the opacity to adjust the intensity of the colours. Add a layer mask to the sunrise layer, then use the rectangular marquee tool to draw a thin selection across the circle shape. Use the tool tip to make the height an even number like 20 pixels. Fill this area with black to erase the selection within the layer mask. Since we made this selection 20 pixels tall, if you hold shift and nudge downward with the keyboard cursor keys, it will place the selection directly underneath. Nudge an extra 20 pixels with two more down key presses and fill this area with black. Nudge twice again then a further three times and fill another selection. Nudge twice again then a further four times, five times and six times etc to create incrementally spaced lines. Open the two mountain silhouette images and copy and paste each one into the main document. Use the command and T shortcut to resize and position the mountains in front of the sun but behind the grid landscape. The outer glow effect from the grid landscape adds a nice blue glow to the silhouette mountains, but give each mountains layer its own outer glow effect to add more ambience to the scene. I'm using a bright blue of 1FB7F6 with the colour dodge blend mode to create a vibrant glow. Reduce the opacity to fine tune the intensity. Right click and choose copy layer style then paste the layer style onto the other mountain silhouette layer. Create a new layer at the top of the stack, then with the reddish pinky hue still set as the foreground colour, dab a single spot in the centre of the scene using a large soft brush tip. Set the blending mode of this layer to screen with reduced opacity to add a subtle ambient glow effect. Open the grid form graphic into Photoshop and place the image near the bottom of the layer stack, just above the starry background. Scale and position this graphic so the grid lines extend from the horizon. Reduce the opacity of the grid form layer to around 20%, then apply a layer mask and fade out the top and bottom with the soft brush. The spectro distortion graphics in the pack can be distorted further by squashing and stretching the proportions with the transform shortcut. Set the blending mode to screen to make the black background transparent, leaving just the white glitch graphics then reduce their prominence with the opacity slider. Use the command and J shortcut to duplicate the layer to position additional copies elsewhere in the scene. The Neon Wave Kit also includes a variety of noisy spectro distortion graphics. These images could be used to add texture to your artwork. Place the image at the top of the layer stack. Change the blending mode to screen to apply the noisy grain effect to your artwork, then desaturate it to remove the digital RGB effect. This kind of artwork is also perfectly suited to my 80s retro cover art textures. Download the texture provided in the free sample I offer to add one final retro texture effect to your artwork. Here I've scaled the texture to crop the main border, leaving a small amount of damage to the edges of the design. Set the blending mode to screen to make your artwork look like an old damaged VHS tape or computer game box. The final result is a rad 80s inspired retro landscape scene complete with vibrant neon colours. The Neon Wave kit makes it easy to build artwork in this style with a huge selection of assets you can quickly drag and drop into place. A few finishing touches in Photoshop such as layer style effects and texture overlays really help to enhance the artwork and complement the retro wave style. If you enjoyed this tutorial or learnt any new tips and tricks, a thumbs up on the video would be really appreciated. Stick around for more of my content by subscribing to the channel and be sure to join my mailing list at Spoon Graphics to download all my free design resources. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.